So hello friends, uh, today I have this Nikkor 135mm f3.5 which is absolutely clean because I clean it already because uh, first time it has fungus so if you want to check that video uh, yeah you have to click on, on the link and then um, yeah but then when there was something I didn't realize that it was in this lens and is it has some haze inside so it's very difficult to see right now uh, just spent like the 10 minutes before starting the video trying to to see it on camera but it is very difficult so let's hope uh, i am able to to see it now so um to disassemble this lens so a nikkor 135 millimeters f3.5 uh, so you start by removing the rubber here then once you remove it there is just above the infinity there is a small screw that you don't have to remove entirely you just have to to get it loose so i can remove this ring here so i'm just doing now and then once this is go this is gone uh, i have to turn a bit you find in this second black barrel another screw which I was seen here so let me see if I get something better no okay so and then once again you just get it loose and then this allow you to remove this ring here and then uh, here is quite straightforward because you can simply just remove the complete optical assembly here just by pulling everything will come out uh, for me it's a bit cumbersome to do it now because I just need to remove the front lens so I'll keep everything in so here this ring initially originally if you haven't seen the previous video it is glue here so um, last time I put some isopropyl alcohol and let it act for uh, five minutes and then I was able to get this loose and then it's easy to unscrew by hand and then um, it come out okay so we get this ring loose and then where the first uh, the front lens uh, comes uh, available to remove so I, I pick this suction cup here and then I am able just to pull the lens here this lens is clean so and then uh, yeah well it's not as straightforward to see but you see that sort of uh, diaphanous uh, section of the lens and then uh, that's uh, the haze we have uh, just here in the edge of the lens uh, and this is obviously well it's annoying for the user then uh, it is uh, a bit uh, uh, it destroys the um, the contrast at least uh, will do it in, in the borders of the image uh, probably a large aperture I don't know uh, but I prefer really to remove it and then just to do so now I have to do uh, simply clean the lens so I will stop the video just a few seconds and then uh, I will come and show you how to clean it okay so we, here we're back for the cleaning and then the cleaning is uh, was simple I have a blower just to remove the the dust and then uh, what will be of interest of us is the optical cleaning paper and then uh, the iso diluted isopropyl alcohol and because this is what we're going to use to remove the haze so I show you um, yeah. first iteration and then this will have to repeat uh, until everything is gone and then I will come back 
just uh, for the reassembly and some final thought um, okay so let me start with some not uh, yeah, some paper I was using just before um, I'll keep the new ones for the end okay as you see as you saw just put um, the alcohol and then I just came clean with the paper try to keep the paper wet in order to avoid scratching uh, the lens but well this paper is designed uh, to be soft and not to damage uh, the glass um, okay so you saw what I just did I'm going to repeat uh, this a few times I see that the haze is already going away so we're in a good path so I'm going to finish the cleaning and then we'll come back just for the reassembly so I, I was very lucky uh, because uh, the haze came out uh, just super easy I just have to wipe that two times and then it is gone so now uh, the, the lens is going to have uh, his uh, its um, traditional contrast and image quality this is not a problem now that we have perfectly cleaned the lens uh, before uh, it has also fungus and as I said I did that in a previous video I didn't notice um, the haze the first time but now uh, we just clean it as you saw uh, now we proceed to reassemble it this is the part where you need to be really careful because you don't want any any dust coming in okay now unsafe this I can clean just after mm, I see there is a bit dirty okay I will just show you how to how to reassemble which is well nothing complicated actually and then I will come back and then get this uh, lens just clean probably it was touch with the surface here okay so I put that ring here as you just saw um, and then I put this second ring here let it go until the end then I just fix this small screw here tick 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 I don't have to tie too much then this ring here which lets me to the one at infinity here and then I just need to put back the rubber I, I am done with the lens so for information I paid this lens um, I like fifteen dollars in the beginning because it has it had uh, some fungus inside and um, well it had also haze uh, we just fix but then um, you're lucky to find this kind of lens uh, for really really low price with a problem of haze or fungus or uh, oil in the blades uh, just go for it honestly as you saw this lens is extremely easy to open and disassemble so don't hesitate and get yourself one, and you're lucky to find one. See you!